In this problem, we're asked if you invested $2,000 into a savings account that earns 6% interest compounded monthly, how much money would you have after 13 years? And we're given a formula right here. So let's see if we can figure out what all these variables on the right-hand side represent. Remember, P is the principal. That's the amount you invested. So how much is the amount we invested? It's $2,000. So our principal is $2,000. Next is R. Remember, R is the interest rate, the annual interest rate. But you cannot use the percentage. You have to turn it into decimal form. So 6%, you take off the percent sign, here's the decimal point, you move it two places to the left to get it in decimal form. So the interest rate is 0 0.06. Next is N. N is the number of times you compound per year. And in this case, we're told that you compound monthly, so N is 12. And lastly, we have T, it's the time you invest it for. And in this case, it is 13 years. So T is always the time in years, so it is 13. So now all we have to do is plug the numbers into our formula. So we know A equals P, which is 2,000 times 1 plus R is 0 0.06 divided by N, which is 12, all raised to the 12 times T, which is 13. So now we're ready to put our expression in the calculator. I had to go to a different screen, and I can't show the whole calculator. So here's the keyboard, and here is the screen. So I need to put in 2,000, open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12, 0 0.06 divided by 12, close parentheses. And now I want the calculator to do this for me, so I'm going to have to put the 12 times 13 in its own set of parentheses in the exponent. So I'm doing the raise to the caret parentheses 12 times 13 and close that set of parentheses. And now I can hit enter. And there is my answer. So you can see this is the amount I'm going to have in my account after 13 years. Money, we always round to the nearest cent, which is this position here. So the 3 is going to leave the 7 alone. So I have $4,354.47 in my account. And so you can see I've written out my answer here of the amount of money in this account after 13 years.